As society becomes more interested in gluten, the number of people who prefer gluten-free foods is rapidly increasing as well. The average growth of the American gluten-free food market is 8.2% per year, and this rate is expected to grow rapidly. Since many celebrities, including Michelle Obama, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Miranda Kerr, credit gluten-free diets with reducing the amount of flour they consume, gluten-free products are getting more attention. What is gluten after all? Is the gluten found in flour so bad for our bodies? If you stop eating flour, will you successfully lose weight? World-famous tennis star Novak Djokovic had low stamina and played weakly against strong players like Rafael Nadal. In July of 2010, after a pre-game meal, Djokovic fell ill with sudden nausea and diarrhea, and his new nutritionist, Dr. Igor Chitoyevic, analyzed Djokovic's diet and found that he was allergic to gluten. His condition had made it difficult to perform to his full potential. Djokovic began a gluten-free diet and has been able to showcase his top-notch abilities since 2011, becoming one of the world's best tennis players, along with Nadal. The stomach aches and nausea that had troubled Djokovic for a long time were symptoms of celiac disease. This is an autoimmune disease that manifests as an allergic reaction to gluten. The gluten in flour causes an inflammatory response in the small intestine. The symptoms of celiac disease are diarrhea, reduced appetite, and chronic fatigue, to name a few. Notably, malabsorption due to inflammation may cause fat-soluble vitamin deficiency syndrome. The cause of celiac disease is unknown, but the first symptoms usually appear during infancy. Occasionally, the first symptoms appear in adulthood, though many are oblivious to them. Another sports star, Ivan Rakitic of FC Barcelona performed poorly in the 2016-17 season due to celiac disease and consequently changed his diet. Is the gluten that causes celiac disease harmful? Do we need to avoid gluten like the celebrities recommend? To answer that, we first need to see what gluten is. Gluten is a mixture of insoluble proteins, grayish-brown in color. Gluten is a mixture of a few types of protein and includes a bit of fat and lipids. It traps carbon dioxide produced by yeasts to make bread rise and lengthen noodles. People make artificial meat, called seitan, by kneading gluten, and glutens are used to add viscosity to such meats made of soy. Approximately 1% of the U.S. population is estimated to be allergic to gluten. Celiac disease is hereditary, so if you suspect that you have it, you can get blood tests done for a precise diagnosis. If you are confirmed to have celiac disease, you can manage it by avoiding food with gluten and taking vitamin supplements. However, following a gluten-free diet when you don't have celiac disease is actually harmful for you. First, a gluten-free diet may cause a shortage of carbohydrates, iron, calcium, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, folic acid, and more. Secondly, almost all foods rich in dietary fiber, like whole grain breads and cereals, contain gluten. If you avoid them, you'll consume less cellulose, which may cause constipation. Finally, oligofructose and inulin, fermentative dietary fibers added to flour, help to generate useful bacteria in the body. Thus, gluten-free diets can reduce the amount of bacteria, negatively impacting the immune system. Then, how would a gluten-free diet help in losing weight? According to the data by an American food investigating organization, 65% of consumers buy gluten-free products for health, and 27% buy them because they're on a diet. People who encourage gluten-free diets claim that gluten causes carbohydrate addiction. Miranda Kerr even said that white food, flour, is poison. But is gluten really something that causes obesity by causing carbohydrate addiction? Will you be healthy if you avoid eating glutinous flour? Pepsin, a digestive enzyme in stomach acid, changes gluten into a substance called exorphine. It is claimed that exorphine has a similar chemical structure to morphine. Because exorphine is formed from proteins in food, it can be produced from casein of milk, albumin of rice, albumin in blood, or hemoglobin. In other words, if gluten can cause carbohydrate addiction, other foods can cause addiction too. But there are no such claims. 
Also, the amount of exorphine absorbed into the blood when consuming 500 grams of flour is about 0.7 milligrams. Such a small amount has not been found to cause addiction or problems in the nervous system. Generally, gluten-free products are less tasty than normal products and manufacturers add more sugar and fat to cover it up. Most of these products are high in calories and fat and low on cellulose, so the consumer may actually gain weight. A study of the American Dietetic Association stated that there is no scientific evidence to support that gluten-free diets help with weight loss. In fact, several other studies showed that when overweight people and obese patients consumed gluten-free diets, they actually gained weight. Most studies state that there was no difference in blood sugar after consuming products with gluten as compared to consuming gluten-free products. So the claim that gluten-free products help with weight loss originated from a misunderstanding of gluten. Therefore, for people who have not been diagnosed with gluten-related diseases, it is better to maintain a normal weight and healthy lifestyle along with a balanced diet.